From NBC News, this is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hi, everybody. It's Monday. Thanks for starting off your week with us. It's November 23rd. Two, two days to prepare for the big Thanksgiving Day on and, Thursday. And one day after my brother's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Adel. Adel. Yes. Yeah, and they're coming up to be with you. Yes, they are. They're taking the Amtrak train Good. to New York City. And we've got to squeeze in. I have a little apartment. It's right. two-bedroom, but it's got to be me, my mom, my brother, his wife, and their daughter. Hannah. Five <laughs> squeezed in. That's called Thanksgiving. That's yes, when you can't get away from your family. All going to be on top of each other. Mine's coming as well when and are there are more coming? 19 people at my house so yeah I'm, de I'm desperately trying to get who are these people Who's I don't coming? know they look familiar <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of them I'm Sure, is my mother, <laughs> yeah. my sister, my brother, my niece, and my you know nephew, and not no nephews, and another niece and her daughter. You know, we we've lived a long time now. You got a lot so of people. So we have we have a lot of people that just live in our house to begin with. I you know. know. So and, and we're we trying can't. to finish a construction project to have yeah. it done by Thanksgiving, That'll and be nice. that's uh, thank you to everybody that's working their buns off. But I was in full construction mode on yeah. Saturday. What was going on? Well, you know, you got you got to get the last minute stuff so that it's there when the guys need to put it in. Uh -huh. You can't say please make my sink work if they don't have faucets right yeah. I hear you so anyway Frank who thinks a sink comes with a faucet gets yeah. is good about it but he has his limits so uh -huh. so uh, we decided we'd go downtown and go to a, a lunch in the middle of all this and then go to the big opening of the beautiful new Ralph Lauren store mm -hmm. um, on on Greenwich Avenue right okay. so we go and I am looking like one of the construction guys at my apart at my house <laughs> guess who's there yeah. Ralph Lauren um. and, <laughs> and his wife no. Looking like they've just walked out of a safari, right out of the Mount Kenya <laughs> Safari Club with the Jofers and the whole thing. And I happen to be wearing a jacket. And he comes up to me and he goes, oh, this is one of mine. Oh. And I'm going, well, I, I don't think so. I, I, I said, gee, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't that be embarrassing if it was Tommy Hilfiger? I'm just trying to, I don't know what to say. Uh, uh. Ralph Lauren makes me, um, I'm, I'm intimidated by him. Uh. I just am. So all of a sudden, Ralph Lauren goes, let me look. And goes to look and behind my jacket to it? see if it's the. Was it? There was no label. Sometimes labels drive me crazy, so I just take them out. But I can tell my heart's beating. I'm going, why do I care? It's just Ralph Lauren. Mm -hmm. But it just shows you people can imitate, it can intimidate you. Yes, they can. And did, did you tell them that Cassidy should be a Ralph Lauren model? I did sort of, sort he of should, drop. No, 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 I just said that people say to me when they meet her, she looks just like a Ralph Lauren. She Lord. does. Yeah. She does look like a Ralph Lauren. Tomorrow Lord. we're going to show you a, a couple of little pictures of Cass. It's a big unveiling for Cass tomorrow. The big Tune unveiling in. of the new Beaujolais is out. By the way, Ralph and his wife looked, I mean, they just. They look great. Please. This is special wine, though. It's just for Thanksgiving. It's especially out for the season. Well, it's not just Cheers. for Thanksgiving. It comes this when the harvest comes out. This time known as Thanksgiving wine of choice. They drink Beaujolais. It's released on the third Thursday of November. I know. But it's it's it it's a world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you had your nails done to match it this weekend. I did tell Can you, I, tell you, you something? I never I never do color. <laughs> it looks it so is pretty. a little bit of a weird thing. You know it's to do it. You think, I think it's I love it when you match. You know but I love that. You know what? I'm, it's it is weird. It doesn't even feel like your own hand when you put color on it. Well, we mm -hmm. have two friends um, that we love very much. Actually, three that we want to give a little shout out to. One is our dear Al Roker who writes a, uh, in this novel that comes out tomorrow, I guess. It's and, called The um, Morning Show Murders. Yeah, and, and I guess we're all in it in a weird way. Well, and you have to figure out who's who. I loved opening the paper to USA Today, and guess who's on the cover of that, too? I know it. The we Roker. got Al Roker. The Roker man. He is, there was a reporter who followed Al around throughout the course of one of his a days. A fabulous reporter named Craig Wilson, Terrific. whom I think it's the only time I've ever sent a, a fan letter to really? a reporter. He writes the final word column on the life section, uh -huh. I think, once, whenever. Uh -huh. And I always, always read him, and I'm always blown away by how much he conveys in a short amount of time. He's a brilliant writer. It's a great, it's a great article yeah. for so yeah. Pull it up and read it. And get that book. Get the Morning Show Murders. It's a nice, quick, easy read. while you're at it doing your Christmas shopping, let's remember poor Regis, who doesn't have enough money. <laughs> Larry, Regis, and Joy are out with their very first duet album. And I was just listening to it. I didn't get a How chance. They just found I just found it. They they, uh, they fed it, X'd it over or something like that. It's called Just You, Just Me. I used to do my nightclub act with Regis all uh -huh, the time for years and uh -huh. years and years. And when I left the show, we stopped performing yeah. together. And um, Susan Lucci went out with him for a while and different yeah. people. But then Joy started performing. So Joy them. sings too, huh? Yeah, Joy's, and Joy plays piano very well. So anyway, it's a, it's a very, I haven't had a chance to listen yet. All I got to was, 
I like New York in spring, in June. How about you? And then the, I had to come upstairs. You like singing. Once in a while. But anyway, it. I want to you know, wish them well with that. You know who loves singing, by the way, and was out on our plaza today? Susan Boyle came in from London yes. and sang, you remember the song, I Dream a Dream, I Dream the Dream? dream Let's listen. Time gone by. When hope was high and life worth living. I don't know I why we're not showing the big moment. Because we just have to warm up to yes, it. <laughs> Please. She sang, she three, sang songs, three songs yeah, on the crowd. plaza. Very different kind of crowd than we had for Bon Jovi. Yes, it was. But, but I gotta uh, tell you, she, they, she did pack the house. Look didn't how she? wrapped they are. They, they, she just represents hope to so many people, I think. Every I really time I do. hear that song, I just remember the night we heard it when she sang it live Back, that night. Yes. It was incredible. And I love the crowd outside. It really was terrific. Yeah. It's a terrific group. You can tell that just she just means a great deal to It them. already popped as number one on Amazon.com. Ever. Are, yeah. Hi. Yeah, the most uh, advanced sales ever for a CD. I can't believe people are still buying CDs. Way CD. more than, than mine, but, but watch out because Regis <laughs> is right on her tail. I just can't believe people are still buying CDs. Do you know what I mean? With all the download, how easy it is to pick the songs you like, it seems weird that people still buy the whole CD. I don't know. I still, I, my first three albums were on that big three, 33 and a yeah. Th yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were called records. So anyway, yes. um, lots going on. Yes. Um, Friday, after you had to, you were going down to, uh, up to Boston. Boston to see Karen, right? And you had a great weekend, right? Yeah, I had a terrific weekend. I went to um, uh, an amazing luncheon. It's called, uh, it's the Women's Annual uh, City Meals on Wheels mm -hmm. Luncheon. Mm -hmm. We don't re even realize, uh, those of us who are blessed in this country, how, how huge a problem hunger is mm -hmm. in our country now. And just here alone in New York City, I think City Meals on Wheels, I hope I don't get this wrong, 30 thousand hot meals a day are, wow. uh, are, I don't know, not, maybe not a day, but are served to their, mm -hmm. their housebound people. Mm -hmm. they're, they, and they're elderly, and it's more than just the food that they're getting, it's the, it's the, it's the friendship. I think it's, it's a care. terrific organization. It's, it's amazing. It's and today after our show, mm -hmm. that's why I'm wearing slacks, Sonny Grosso gets very, very upset with me when I'm not wearing a skirt, but Sonny, yes. for a good cause, you and I are going to go down to the Bowery. Yes. To the Mission, mission. downtown, mm -hmm. and we're going to feed uh, the Thanksgiving a meal. That was you went with me year. last year. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very moving. Let's let's turn it over to Miss Sarah. Who we do missed we have to? Yes, we do, because we missed her on Friday, and she's back with us Sarah, today. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How are you? We're talking about Susan Boyle. Uh -huh. Shirley wrote in, amazing voice, great w woman. Go get him, Susan. Rhonda wrote in, she's an inspiration to women, young and old. Robin says she touches your heart when she sings, and Lee says, I get goosebumps every time I hear her yeah. sing. Yeah, she sings No, I know. She really, really does. She's like an angel. All righty. Well, coming up, we are going to do a winter coat makeover. If you don't like your coat, it's too bulky, too whatever, we're going to help you out. After all, sometimes people do judge a book by its cover. Just look at Ralph.